What's going on, Extreme Gang? It is Tuesday. That means tomorrow is a release day for Panini. Panini's big release tomorrow, 2019 Flawless Football. One of the more expensive cases. It's up there probably right below uh, National Treasures, depending on the rookie card class. Uh, originally, I was not going to do a video on this, but if you guys are planning on getting mail, um, like, you know, cards in the mail, stuff like that, I should say, be aware there is a delay. You're going to see if you have, like, informed delivery from the USPS or you're checking tracking, I'm telling you now, I had six packages that all say late arrival now for two, three days. One just popped up out of nowhere, so we couldn't really do a mail day today because I wanted to at least try to get two of the other packages in. So we're going to talk about flawless football. I do not have a flawless football coming. I stayed away this year. Uh, just wasn't one of the things I wanted to really get into for once this year. I will say there's going to be a lot of breaks out there, whether you're doing pick your team, whether you're doing random teams, left sides, block numbers. Uh, I, I forget what all kind of ways everybody does this now. To me, the best person that ever moved flawless football was he would do a full case. And it was left side serial number. It had end in, so one through zero. And then, you know, you would buy in your spots. So if the card on the left side was numbered, say, 35 out of 99, 35 is the left side number goes to the five spot. That was the best way to get your bang for your buck. I, I used to get into PYTs and try to chase the big teams, and I would spend thousands and wouldn't even hit the rookie card. I'd go start doing left side serial number breaks, and it was better off payout. More expensive, I'm not going to lie. Usually it's about 250 300 a spot nowadays. Let's take a look at some flawless football. So you're going to see you got your, okay, I see which screen I had everything on here. You got your basic Legends Ruby. You got your signature shields again this year. Everybody's going to be chasing. You got your rookie gem signatures as well, too. You know, there's going to be that one on one there as well. Lots of one on ones and flawless, just like NT. So they're not as rare, but you can hit some big one on ones out there. <clears throat> You're still going to have your dual patch autos in there and everything like that. Dual autographs. Star Swatch Signatures Platinum, I believe is, I don't really know if it's new this year or they just reworded it. Because if you look, you're still looking at the shield, but instead they did the star there. Does everybody remember Upper Deck did this? And they it was like with uh, LeBron James and stuff into it. They started with the star and they put the little, uh, I think it was an NBA logo man or something in there. Now look. Somebody's trying to get in the game with the stars. Sorry, I just liked Upper Deck back in the day. They were cream of the top with LeBron and Jordan autos. You just couldn't mess with that. And Ben Simmons solely deck. Of course, you got your RPAs, Ruby. That's the Ruby version there, Kyler Murray. Now, pay attention to your cards. If they don't have that rookie card logo on to it, they're not considered a true rookie card. Everybody's going to call it a rookie. This is one of those weird uh, ends on to it. You also need to pay attention to, is it a rookie patch or a, what do they call the other one? Rookie materials signature. So just be watching out there for what you want to get. Make sure it's a true rookie card, not one of the various versions of it. Just like NT. Boom. Check that out. Super Bowl Gem Platinums. These look nice. I like the veteran booklets too. I'm just a fan of the booklets. I know they're not the great ever, but still, when you pull an autograph booklet, especially the Super Bowl one, it just looks really tight. The shield looks really good, too. Don't get me wrong, but I like that Super Bowl logo onto it. All right, this is what you're going to get. So everybody knows there's two briefcases in one single case. So per case, you're going to get 10 cards per pack. There's only one pack per box, but, you know, it's counting in your uh, one touches, too. So, in one box, which is one briefcase, you're looking at six on-card autographs, which is a good thing, on-card autos. I don't ever think I've seen a whole lot of redemptions in Florida time other brands, so I will give them credit on that. You're going to get one to two gems, two to three memorabilia. So, really a good product if you get, I mean... 
if I wouldn't really get into uh, breaks of this, I would either personally buy my own case because you know you're going to get uh, something nice with your one touches in there, okay? That'll help ease the pain of the briefcase itself, block numbers, and do the true gamble. And I don't know. Cardinals are worth probably about 350 400 maybe. I'm not even sure offhand, maybe even more have a block number to where if you know i could hit a various cards uh tw you know there's 20 cards in a full uh mon or full master case i just rather take my odds that way all right so that will be it for flawless football everybody i'm gonna pull it down off the screen real quick i am so i'm not too sure what we're gonna be doing tomorrow for a video offhand if the mail is still super slow um Bear with me on the videos because it's now going on one month, I think, over a month that I've been home uh, teleworking. And, you know, without being able to go out and watching who's shipping from where, and then you got to start looking at uh, supplies are starting to get limited. And I'm talking about, like, uh, stuff like that because <clears throat> you got to remember BCW's in Indiana. They're shut down. I believe Ultra Pro shut down now, too, to where you can't get any uh, resupplies in. So, and don't forget, Bow and Baseball was supposed to be my next Wednesday. Now we're looking at May 29th. So, lots of things changing. We'll figure some stuff out. Have some fun to channel. Plus, our giveaways always are nice. Again, if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the little bell, too. It'll tell you whenever I pop up live or post a new video. I always do appreciate everybody viewing the videos, comments, liking the videos. It always helps out with the good old YouTube app. Oh, say that about 10 times fast. All right, I'm out, everybody. I will see you live on Friday, but we'll still have a video tomorrow and Thursday as well. I haven't really decided yet what we're going to do for a giveaway. Depends what comes in the mail this week, to be honest. All right, talk to you all later. Have a good day. Um, and a good day as well, too. I forgot this is already in the evening because I was out doing some work. Take care.